Uh, chapter 12, talk about solids and modern materials. The, the first section talks about the discovery of graphene. And um, I'm going to cover this because I think it, it uh, gives you a, a peek into what happens in, in science. So, I mean, we tend to think of people doing these big experiments and being very intentional about stuff and writing grants and all of this, and that does happen, but there's also some stuff that kind of happens by accident or just because people are curious and they're looking into stuff. And so, um, back in, in 2010, Gaim and Novoselov were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for the discovery of graphene. So graphene is the strongest and thinnest material known. It's only one atom thick. It's, it's a form of graphite. It's carbon. It conducts heat and electricity. It's transparent. You can see through it, which isn't too surprising since it's very, very thin. And it's completely impermeable to all substances, so water can't pass through it or anything like that. Now, so far, it doesn't. we don't have um, a lot of uses for it yet because it was brand new, right? What's interesting about it is that it was discovered sort of by accident. So Geim um, explored lateral ideas. So these are not things that were his main focus of research. They weren't even things that he was an expert in. But he's just interested in them. And so he'd have these little side experiments. He called them Friday night experiments, because right? they're kind of informal. And he'd have his students doing some of them. Most of those experiments were complete and utter failures. No, that didn't work. No, that didn't work. Some of them led to some interesting things. One of them led to a Nobel Prize. So that's pretty cool. Um, and, and the way they found this, they were trying to make a very, very thin, see how thin a layer of graphite that they could make. And the student was taking this solid piece of graphite and trying to um, basically grind it down and see how thin he could get it. And then somebody noticed that they, they put a piece of tape on it and pulled this scotch tape off, and there was this little film on it. And that was actually the graphene. That was the monolayer of carbon stuck on the tape. And so then they did some experiments and characterized that and figured out what it was. So science happens in all kinds of interesting ways. And yes, we understand a lot about science, but there's still a lot of things left to be discovered and, and created, too. Uh, 